So we got the drill lock right here. Let's see if I can come it out just a little bit without, you know, ripping it or anything like that. I can't even say I have. It's weird to say I have because the drill lock is not part of me anymore. Uh, I'm just gonna connect it back to air. I'm gonna comb this out just a little bit so it can have that um, crochet needle. That's not, that's not gonna work. I just realized that. The other option that I have is actually just splitting the drill locks into two and giving myself two dreads. You know, at the end of this video, you'll see guys if I made it or not. You know, I've never done this before, so let's get to this. Welcome back to another video! Last video I mentioned that my hair literally was chopped off by a high school basketball player. That's that's embarrassing. Oh my god. Oh man, I don't play basketball, right? That's my excuse, I guess. But it was chopped off, so today we're gonna be connecting it. Combed it out last time a little bit, but I'm a I'ma moisturize it so I can preserve most of the hair and not break it so a lot of you guys that want to comb out your hair pro tips is that you don't want to dry comb it you want to put some kind of moisturization like conditioner water at least you know i'm probably going to use a little bit of water to wet it if not i'm just going to use this whatever it is right there to just combine it because i don't want it to be slippery and uh coming out of my dreads the dreadlock length or the hair length is about i would say let's see about three inches or so from the root which is pretty low to be honest with you it shouldn't have been cut that low i'm disappointed about that but we're gonna work with what we got you know we can't really complain this is a crochet needle you can get it at gridlocks.com was given to me by uh gunther the great himself a long time ago uh whenever he was doing my hair one day i was like i need i need to get one of those he was like you can have this what a nice dude man so yeah, I'm gonna use this to connect my hair. But first, let's go figure what's inside of here and see if I can maybe clean it and dry it and connect it. So let's go. Before we get into the video though, I got one thing. I got one thing. I got one thing. Hey, I got one thing. Uh, last video I mentioned that best comment on the last video would get at activers.com uh, jewelries. Uh, but this video is shot on the same day. So I'm gonna be picking out that winner for the last video uh, on the next video. Activers.com is sponsoring this video. So check out the activers.com. This is what it does. This is what I have done. And people are loving it. A lot of people are buying it. A lot of people are getting it. Uh, big YouTubers that you guys know uh, love it. I have uh, collab with them and ask them what they think about it. They really like it, and so this is Activerse.com for you guys. Let's get to it. We got the drill lock right here. Let's see if I can comb it out just a little bit without, you know, ripping it or anything like that. The reason that you want to comb this out is because this part of the drill lock needs to go over the other hair and then crochet needle it in and out basically to connect it. So that's why you need this to be a little bit combed. I haven't, like I said, I've never done this before, but I've seen videos and also, also I've seen a loctician before I connect locks. Uh, I don't remember the details of it. I just remember them connecting it, but I remember them comb combing it first. So this is what it looks like inside the drill lock. It's not too many dandruff that I expect it to be. Yeah, there's like some, you know, but not a crazy amount. I expected more. Actually, let's clean it out. I know that to get in here, a lot of people use like dish soap and it has worked. 
I've used it before too, when I want to have like a lot of uh, dandruff and you know, basically what it did is it just made a path for the dandruff to come out because it's like dish soaps are very like slippery and they're kind of harsh too in a way. I don't think it's too good for your hair to do it often, but like once in a while I don't think it hurts, especially when you have like a big old buildup. So it's not a crazy amount of buildup I have here. I have um, some kind of buildups in here. I can't even say I have. It's weird to say I have because a draw lock is not part of me anymore. So it's like I have dr I have dandruff in here. I have. It's not I anymore. You know, it's weird. <laughs> Just because it's disconnected from my head, but yeah, it has some some dandruff. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, so we're gonna try to like, get that out with some dish soap. So let me go get dish soaps real quick. Okay, so this is the type of dish soap we have not type, but a uh, carrier dish soap. But we have actually dish soap in there. So I'm applying the dish soap on the dreadlocks, and I'm gonna show you actually what it looks like. I haven't applied any water yet. Like I said, this soap is pretty harsh, so you don't want to use this often. You just want to use it like when, it, when you have like a huge buildup or something that you're not getting out. Then you want to maybe use it, but just using my nail to push it. I don't have nails, but using my fingertip, I guess, yeah, with the, the partially nail. Just to kind of push it, you know, squeeze it out basically. Because uh, this soap basically collects it and like brings it out together. Let's see how dirty it is. If it's really dirty, we'll see. It's pretty clean. Pretty much bad down here. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad. Uh, look how much it locks up full of water. It just like all locked up. Go ahead and dry it off. This thing is locked up, I'm telling y'all. But it's super clean. You wanna see how clean this is? It's literally super clean. And it's locked up too, just off of water and uh, soap. Ain't that crazy like how much it's locked up? Like that is just crazy. I don't use nothing, it's just locked up. It used to be a bunch of hair and it's just locked up. And this is why you gotta separate your hair after you wash your hair because the moment that you come out of uh, the shower, every hair is just like, it's trying to, almost like it's trying to connect itself. It's trying to go together. It's trying to stick to one another. And I don't know, it's just the nature of it. It's just, it's almost like a Velcro, right? Like you see a Velcro, you put them together, they literally attach themselves. And it's just like they're not trying to let go of each other. Hair like this is the same way. Even up to straight hair, I would say. Even though straight hair is a little harder to lock up, but every hair it does the same thing. And so a lot of people make it complicated in locking their hair up with a lot of, you know, wax, be wax, different things. And I always tell y'all, like, it's so easy to get jaw locks. Even retwist your jaw locks with just water. And, like, people don't believe, but you know, look at this. This is the proof of it. Okay, now I'm going to connect my jaw locks. I'm going to comb this out with just a little bit so it can have that out, out reach, like, like this. Like, almost like getting ready to grab the other hair and then I'm just gonna connect it and then I'm gonna lock it out basically with crochet needle. I'm gonna comb a little bit more out. I just got the tips out. So I'm gonna just comb it up to here. Like I said guys, I'm learning with you guys as I'm doing this. All right, let's do it now. All right guys, after some tries, I have struggled to connect these two together. The fact that it's like really like widespread, like really wide, like it was a Congo, so it was very wide. So like when I try to twist this, I wouldn't want to stay at one place since it's just all variety of places. And of course, as wide it is, whenever you 
you know, twist it like this. It is very short amount of length to connect it to the dreads. So with this, look how thin that is. Trying to connect it to the dreads, that's not gonna work. I just realized that. The other option that I have is actually splitting the dreadlocks into two and giving myself two dreads. I have enough length like that. So like for example, if I twist that, I'll be able to work with up to this amount of, see? See how thick that is? up to this level of new connection basically to the other drill locks versus all together since it's a wider space radius or diameter i only have this amount of opportunity to connect it to this drill locks i'm gonna go for that i'm gonna split it you know at the end of this video you'll see guys if i made it or not you know i've never done this before so let's get to this Perfectly split. Like I said, it used to be two different dreads, and it got to Congo right about here, and then I guess this amount of length to get up, up to there. So now it's gonna be two dreads. This should be a little easier to connect versus a very thick dreads. Comb this out. I'm gonna split this into two also. I just saw my wife thing right here, so I'm gonna use this. All right, on our attempt to connect this back. Make it like a, a drill lock on its own and then I'm gonna wrap it around. So just a bunch of hair that came out. So my attempt to make it a drill lock and then I'm gonna wrap it and make sure it's strong enough so it can wrap like a knot. So it'll be a strength basically. A bunch of your dreadlocks by the way is already cut like this. I don't know if you guys know already about that but most of them are stripped away like this but they're inside the dreads and that's why they're not falling out. So I'm gonna use that to thicken up this side right here like where it connects. And then I'm gonna push any door. One down. And so now y'all see that where it's connected at right there. So after this, what we're gonna do is give it some time. To strengthen up uh, really on its own. I don't want to rub it or anything like that to make the fuzziness go away because then it will affect me pulling it you know to do the rubbing method. I'm just going to strengthen this part of it right here. This is where I combed it out at also so I'll literally use just the tip of the dread to, con to combine it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to strengthen this out too with twisting method and crochet needle method. For now this is good. I'm going to do the same thing I did for the other one. I'm gonna comb this out just slightly. You don't wanna like snatch or anything like that because then you'll lose a lot of hair. Also, Dreadlocks already is dried breakage hair, so, and you don't wanna moisturize it right now because then how can you connect it? I'm gonna use some of my finger, kind of like, you know, loosen it up, get out the knot. There's a big knot in there, which, you know, the knots are good. That's what keeps it there. Like the men dreadlock, you know, it's like almost like the root of a whole dread. So like, you see the hair that's like all around it? You know, there's inside of it is a knot that almost like holds all of them together. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did for the other one to this one. I'm gonna give you guys a close-up shot on this one. Since I kind of figured out what I was doing right now, just looked at the mirror, it was better. And when you're doing your hair, 
When you crochet a needle in it, don't pull it away from the roots, pull towards the roots, this way. Sometimes you gotta go this way just a little bit, but don't yank it. Just keep on with the flow and don't, don't strip your roots out because then you know, you're know you killing all your hair or you're taking out all your dreadlocks from the roots. So always try to angle it as if you're pulling it towards the roots, not away from the roots. Oh my arm. You see the big part there, it's not connected yet. Gotta crochet a needle it in. So usually when I grab it, as you guys see, I grab it on my side. I grab the knot this side, for example, on this side like that, so that I can come from the other side of it, from the opposite side, and then pull it in. So that's how basically locking your hair is. You gotta figure out what your patterns, how to move about it, and also to know that your crochet needle is gonna be pulling hair. So now you gotta figure out which side do I need to pull next. So as you rotate it, you wanna be able to fill it with your, fill it, uh, with your fingers where the big bushes is at, basically. And you wanna put that on the opposite side of where you're pulling it from, from the crochet needle. It doesn't make sense as I'm talking about it, but as you're doing it, just like it makes sense. Like, till you are doing it, I don't think you may get it. So it's still not done. I'm just my arm getting tired. So you guys see this this thing right here. So now what I want to do is with the crochet needle, basically with my finger as I'm grabbing it, I want to hold the firm so that from here I come up here and then pull the hair in in in. So I think that made sense right there. So that's what I'm literally what I'm doing right now. The curving part right there is like it's not a teeth. It's it's almost like it's almost like think about it like this. So the hair comes right here, you pull in the hair. So if it doesn't get the hair, it just slips the hair. So sometimes it may seem like it's snapping your hair, but it's really not. It's just literally barely pulling it all together. So yeah, that knot is gone. You can't see it anymore. So this is the main connecting part. You can see a little bit of it, but and then you see this bud right here. This bud is right there where they both join and connect. So this is where this drill lock connects and where my roots connect is around somewhere around here. So this is them combined together. So this one I have to thin out by just palm rolling, but I don't want to do palm roll yet because uh, I want them to develop connecting together because uh, palm rolling in a way yanks it away, especially if it's that low. If it was out here somewhere, I would have done it. Right here is just too close for it to palm roll like fully. I'm just gonna use the crochet needle to make sure this bud is not too like fat basically. So yeah, that's it. Both of the drill locks are connected. I don't wanna yank this or I don't want nobody to yank it. So I wanna be able to hide it in the ponytail to where it develops and it grows to where it becomes like it originally was part of my dreadlocks. This is how you guys connect your dreadlocks. Let me know if you, have, if you guys have any questions below down in the comments. I think I did a pretty good job from what it looks like. I don't even think y'all can tell it. there was like a missing dreadlock. I was able to put it back together, redeem myself from that basketball game. I can't let that happen again. I can't lose again where I'll go through this again because I sucks again and I'm out again. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure yeah, you guys comment because the best comment will end up getting a free gel lock jewelry. Uh, all you have to do is drop a comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching this video. But until next time, keep acting diverse, creating your universe. I'm active verse and I hope you guys enjoyed this video because it was a challenge and overcoming a challenge. So thank you guys for showing love and not condemning me for cutting my gel locks. I love y'all. I'm out.